So today is about this Tom Ford limited edition eye color um, duo, the cream and powder eye color. And this is in the shade 13, black sand. It's basically a, a black um, with a little bit golden shimmer cream with a, a golden glitter on the top. And actually, I have several other shades of this same formula. So today, I think I'm gonna use this on my eyes and then do a swatch comparison with other shades that I also have. Usually, with this kind of uh, cream eyeshadow, I just apply with my finger. You can see just a plain black with I don't know if you can tell a little bit golden shimmer and it's very soft to the touch which is a little bit different than what I remember for other shades in this same formula. And this is the color. A little bit green. Maybe it's because of the golden shimmer that makes with the black make me think it's a little bit green. Quite easy to blend like you can see it blends quite nicely because it's black um i assume it don't need much yeah like i said blends quite easily maybe i need a little bit more It looks crazy. And I will wipe my finger clean to blend the edge. This does set a little bit when you stop playing with it. And it does look a little bit green, don't you think? I think maybe it's, like I said, it's the black mixed with the golden shimmer, but it does look a little bit green to my eyes. And I don't think it's a very easy to use color, <laughs> of, of course, because it's black. So now I'm cleaning the edge where I went a little far with my finger. But overall, I think it blends quite nicely. Let me blend a little bit more with this brush and I do want to add a little bit more on this outer corner when you stop playing with the the formula it does set on your eye a little bit on the lower lash line it's quite easy to blend and I think for an easy smoky eye it does work actually i want to try if i can use this color as a eyeliner you can see it's a very soft texture much softer than <clears throat> than the other ones i have maybe because this one is very fresh and other ones i already have for like several years oh can't see very well because of the you know the I have the black all over my eyelid but I think it could work it could work as a eyeliner maybe on the daily basis I will just put the golden glitter on my eyelid and use this cream, cream color as an eyeliner and let's swatch this glitter shade. And I do think this glitter shade, the formula is a little bit different to the touch than other, um, you know, the other shades in this same line. It's much easier to get on your finger. Like other formulas, the glitter is like not hard to get on your finger, but you couldn't get much like easily. So it's more of a topper. It doesn't really um, have much pigmented because 
have much pigment because you you just can't get too much on your finger. You can see it's quite a pigmented glitter. It has a base color like you can see when I turn on this side you can see the base color to it. So let's layer this on the maybe the center. Oh it's very beautiful. I kind of want to put this shade all over my lid. It's very very beautiful shade and I don't think it's just in my mind. I do feel like the glitter is a different texture than the previous ones. It's much more a loose pressed glitter with much more payoff. So the eyes are done. I'm blending it. It does get a little bit patchy, like around the edge. But um, putting this glitter on top, that's covered uh, a lot of the patchiness. So. I think maybe it's better to put a, like a crease color, like a matte crease color as a base and then put this color on. So that way you don't have to experience the patchiness as you're blending the edge. Also the, the cream part used as an eyeliner works quite nicely. So since this, color, this eye look is so strong, I think in the daily basis, I might just put some matte color as a base and use this um, glitter part on top and then use this um, this cream part either as a blending out like smudged eyeliner look or just as a pure eyeliner as I did today. And I do think the formula is a little bit different than other uh, this kind of other shades in this line like the cream part is a little bit more creamy and soft and the top part is much looser pressed not that it's very loose that there's a lot of fallout or anything it's just compared to the the other shades that they have, this is a looser pressed formula. So let's do some swatch comparison with other shades in this line. I think this way is easier for you to see. And this three is the same, you know, cream and powder eye color. And this three is the... Uh, oh, I have another one. So this four is just the cream eyeshadow. And I believe they are the same formula, like the cream part in this line and the cream eyeshadow in this line is the same formula, which this is the cream color for eyes. First, let's talk about just this, you know, this cream and powder eye color line. I have... Um, other than this new one, I have three. Uh, I believe this golden, the golden peach one and the naked bronze one is still available. But this uh, paradisal one could be discontinued. You can, you can see I used a lot of this color, which is the naked bronze. And this is the golden peach one. I also use quite a bit of that. Oh. And this is the paradiso one. You can see they are very, of course, very different than the other shades. So let me show you the texture, the soft texture. Very soft. A little bit thicker than a liquid. 
Now it's a very creamy, easy to blend kind of texture. Let me swatch another one for you. Let's say this one. Maybe it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's just not as liquidy, as soft as the first one. Maybe it's because this is old. Like you can see, it's still very easy to blend. It works perfectly fine. It's just to the touch, it's, this one is a little bit um, softer. Uh, what is actually feels like a completely different formula is the glitter on top like this um, naked bronze one it's just you you just can't get too much product on your finger it's no matter how how many time you go like this it's just not much on you on your finger it's like a top coat that's exactly what it is. And this more feels like not a top coat. It feels like an, an actual eyeshadow. Like just go... I don't know if you can can see. I didn't even go as many times as this one and it's pick, picking up like about the same amount of product. If I have to go like the same it will be like much more product like you can see I could never get this much product with this one so I th really think either they pressed this one much looser or it's just a different formula you can see this one doesn't really have a base color and this one has a very strong base color and that's the same with other other shades like this golden peach one I'm going very hard with it and still you you just can't get too much of it right it's just cannot get as same amount as this one and actually this one is already a little bit looser than the naked bronze one Maybe they are changing the formula. And this is the Paradiso one. Actually, you know, the Paradiso one feels like about the same formula as this one. So I don't know what that is. Yeah, it looks like the same formula. So let's actually swatch them. So first of all, let's swatch this new one, the one called Black Sand. This is when it's very opaque. And let's blend the edge a little bit. So this is a unblend to blend swatch. It's hard to tell, but it does have a little bit green. A little bit of green, like in this blended part. But when it's not blended, it's completely black. A little part. And another layer. A very pretty bronze it has a like orangey bronze kind of base shade and a very pretty golden glitter on top actually before I bought this one I was thinking is the glitter part anything similar to the naked bronze one so let's compare it um, first the cream part of the naked bronze one the same formula just this one is a little bit more liquidy and soft and let's blend the edge a little bit 
a very pretty bronze and the glitter part as you can see they are completely different not only the naked bronze one doesn't have a base color also the glitter this one is much more uh, of a paler glitter the golden peach color green part and this is the glitter part of the golden peach one it's the same formula as the naked bronze one which there is not much of a base color it's just pure glitter this one is very very everyday kind of natural one it's very easy to use it's just you just can't mess up with this one paradise one which is um i think is a limited edition this one isn't very um pigmented the cream part it's just a little bit more pink than the golden peach one and this one actually the glitter part is more pigmented than the cream part so this is the glitter part it feels like the same formula as this one the new one the black sand they are very loose and there is a little bit base color to it and there's also glitter on top of it and actually the glitter in this formula is a little bit chunkier than the glitter in the golden peach and the naked bronze one um, so I think they are definitely the different glitter formula so let's swatch this um, cream ones first is my favorite one the cream color for eyes in the shade platinum as you can see it's my favorite I think I have I might have used half of it so the swatch it's a very beautiful taupey kind of um, cream shade with a kind of a silver sheen on it next is the shade spice it's a very beautiful bronze color which I think it might be the same color as this one yeah I think it's the same one <laughs> it's the same shade as the naked bronze one and there's a green one which is the burnished copper this one a little bit similar to this new one let's let's swatch on um, next to the new one oh it's much green much more green and yellow actually much greener than this one so it's not not similar and also another favorite is the Sphinx one, the number three one. This one is a very beautiful dual chrome one. Like shift from gold to pink, like this. Another layer on it. It's hard to tell on the camera the dual chrome effect. So this is the whole swatch. and that's it that's the comparison thank you for watching bye